everyone. Hello, good evening. I am actually just got back home, wrapping up a long day, and I am having my first, or I'm having a little nightcap. And in this case, this nightcap is a Yingling lager, and I always keep a frosty mug in my freezer. Yes. So when I come home, it's like bar service when I just wanted this nice cold Yingling. Knew it was there, just waiting for me. Um, we have actually had some great weather. On the last few days, we have hit the high 70s the last couple of days. And so, now I don't know about y'all. One thing I like to do <clears throat> on a hot day is have a cold beer. Mm. Yeah. Mmm, how they say it, hallelujah. So that's great. Okay, but that's not the video. <laughs> Although I could do a video about me drinking all day. This is actually an unboxing. <coughs> and I have ordered some plants from Pepper Greenhouse. And this nursery, um, if I'm not mistaken, I don't remember the viewer who recommended it, but thank you. I, I, I wish I could say I can go back and look it up, but I, I really can't. I have no idea who did it, but got a nice box. So we're just gonna get right to it. We're gonna just hopefully cut this up and let's see what's in here. Very exciting. Okay, so it's two boxes put together and of course I don't know how to open it so we'll fast forward through this portion that noise you hear in the background is Ginger devouring her food she is tearing it up tearing it up so that I probably need to put her a little bit more in the bowl because I think she's she act like she ain't eating all day y'all I really can't get into this box okay I couldn't figure out how to open it. <laughs> so I just saw it right through it. Okay, so first plant, let's see. Okay, these are really little. Really, 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 really little. Oops, let it go. Okay, so this is a Sanavaria. Um, I believe this is the Cylindria. Oh. Sorry, y'all, still recovering. I'm at the tail end of this cold. Oh, it's adorable. It's in a three inch pot. It is a fernwood snake plant. Y'all, I'm getting addicted to snake plants. Oh, very dry, very dry. Um, but a snake plant can handle very dry, so not upset. And it looks like Ginger just finished. Y'all, I'm hot. I'm starting to glisten. So that's the first one. Oh, we got something here a little bit bigger. Wrap the newspaper. And y'all, I got this company is out of Delaware, which is just a few states for me. But they did not. Oh, wow. Um, but they did, I've ordered this a, a couple of weeks ago, but they did not ship it. Today is Thursday, so they didn't ship it until this week, until, I mean, their weather and our weather uh, approved. Uh, and they did send me an email to let me know. Oh, this is so cute. Look at that. Look at that leaf. And then um, you can see here, look at the back leaf color. So pretty. I don't remember what this is. This is a tapestry vine. Oh, it has tons of roots coming out of it. I, I don't remember ordering it. <laughs> I mean, that's not to say I didn't. Oh, I did. This is a climbing vine, and I wanted more climbing. So it's hard. It says here that uh, prefers filtered sunlight, prefers warmth. Um, it's a climbing leaf, rich green pattern. Um, hardy in zone 10. I'm not zone 10. And 
temperature, minimum temperature is 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And I think it's really pretty. And so yeah, that's that one. Another sip of beer. I need to open up some windows because it is like 66 degrees. Cause it's like um, 11 o'clock at night here. And it's like 66 degrees outside. And with a breeze coming in and in my house with no heat on, it's like 78. So I need to open up some windows. I am hot. Oh, yes. Oh my goodness, yes. Oh, I hope it's gonna be okay. I don't know. Cause I really wanted this plant because I have seen this. Okay, so y'all know Harley G. You know, if you watch these plant videos, you know Harley G. And Harley G's mom, Steph Hall, also has a channel and they're very cute together. And these are one of the, oh, one of the plants that she has. And um, these are the little red leaf shamrocks. And they, they're so beautiful and you can't, I hope, I hope, I pray. Uh, it seems to be moist. Um, you can't really tell, but they're shamrocks. So um, maybe I will wait a couple of days to upload this video so you can see. Here's the before and see the after. Oh, no. No, did y'all just see that? Oh. I just lost a little stem here. I mean, but this is such a delicate, delicate plant. I don't know how you would ship it and not, but it's full. It's very full, so give you guys a really good look at it. Uh, that looks like some little white flowers that are blooming from it. Um, maybe it'll open up within the time of this video. I really hope so. Ooh, okay, so this is a spider plant. I told you, it broke my heart to lose that spider plant. And I have sent, from Hertz, I got a curly shoe. And this one I thought was a different variation but it looks the same like the one in my bathroom. Oh, it's so pretty. So this is a variegated spider plant. Newspapers, okay, we'll just leave it there. And it is really, really full. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Absolutely no damage oh wait i take that back there's a little bit of damage like that but i think that had nothing to do with shipping very nice very nice plant still moist oh tons and tons of roots so it can definitely be repotted and the weather here is really nice to repot i got this because i thought it would be the opposite of irrigation of it in my room and it looks like i might have been wrong about it but it's so pretty <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. So we have that plant. So that's four. Oh, there's one more still in there, I think. Oh, there's one more after that. <laughs> no, no, how many plants I ordered? I ordered from this um, nursery because of a viewer had recommended this and I checked it out. But they had a sale going on. Ooh. Y'all, it's a Jacob Ladder. <laughs> it's a Jacob Ladder. Not on my wish list, but that's just because I was dumb because this should have been on here because it's so cool. It's so cool. Oh, and it... Let's see what I got. It's like Christmas. I see the leaves poking out. Okay, I got a bit of a... And that's going on, and this one is kind of stuck in the plastic. So there we go. Oh, oh, and I don't care. We're just <gasps> y'all. It is the my the Mayan the my. I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh yes, it's like Christmas on my birthday, and a nice little. It's the philodendron Mayan, which was on my wish list. Oh my God, look at it. Look at it. I am not disappointed with this at all. Okay, we lost a lot of soil. That's okay though. Uh, that's really okay. I um, still do have some roots coming out of the bottom, so that's perfect. It definitely, I love this nursery. 
I mean, I, I'll probably take a trip to Delaware just to see what they got inside that nursery. I mean, road trip, road trip to Delaware coming up. Stay tuned, y'all come with me because this is sick. This is like this plant and this plant, which I am not, I am not upset with this. This is a delicate plant. I'm really hoping that we're just gonna, those leaves are gonna fair, uh, flare out. Um, they look like butterflies to me and I love this. And a couple of my YouTubers that I subscribe to have them and I just think they're great. One of these chicks in, um, what's her name? Tropical Plant Attic, Tropical Plant Attic. She's from the UK. I love her videos, love them. And um, she, she has one of those, and I think it's huge, huge. <laughs> but the philodendrons are coming up. Y'all, I didn't even pay a lot. Let me see if the invoice is here real quick. Okay. Oh, yeah, they left me with the receipt. Um, so the shipping was $16.45. Um, yeah, so each plant, okay, so, um, the spider plant I paid $4 for, the, this one was five, four ninety five. the tapestry was seven, the Jacob ladder was five, so, so our next plant up, what do we have here, what do we have here, ooh, I get this done before my husband cut. What? <gasps> I totally forgot. I really did forget that what I ordered because this is on my wish list too. And I'm very excited for this plant. And oh my goodness. I like how they put the rubber bands around it to keep as much soil in as possible. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is a Monstera. Oh no. I thought this was a Monstera Ani, but it's a Monsteria Frederick Stolly. And it's also known as the Swiss cheese plant. Um, I, I think it's great. Look at this. Look at this. I just hope. I hope that I can grow this. This has been, I'm so excited for this plant. I do not know what, how I could have forgotten that I ordered this, but this is, mm. Now look at the condition this is in. I wanna be fair, I wanna be fair to Hertz cause y'all know I went in on them, I went in and I was happy with what they, what they sent me, but there was a couple of plants that you know, tiny dancers still don't have it. Not going to get it. They just refunded me. I did contact them, Hertz, and and they they um, they got back with me right away, and they refunded me for the two plants that um, the one that was damaged, which was the um, what was the citronella, and the one that I didn't get, they refunded me. Um, but this one here, oh my God, I just have to pay attention on how to take care of it. Oh my goodness, wow, what a treat. It's such a treat. I remember that I ordered from them. I just forgot all the things that I ordered. Okay. Okay, we're combating that one. I got a plant that's stuck in the box, so just do this one first. Okay. Uh, got some soil. Oh. <laughs> another wish list come true. We got another wish list. And of course, there's a mess. And I don't know. That's what brooms are made for. Ah, so this is my asparagus fern. And if you watched the previous video, I told you that they had just gotten some in on from Lowe's. And, um... <laughs> the ones at Lowe's were either, between this one, the $3 ones were much smaller and the full grown one was much bigger and that one was for $11. I paid, um, I paid $5 for this. So $4.95 plus shipping. So 
I think this is a really good deal. Look at that, that is beautiful. And I've wanted an asparagus fern for so long, and I guess I just had to wait for spring. Um, I hope I can keep it alive. It comes with its own little informational card. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do a road trip to Delaware at some point this summer. Okay, so here is the final plant, I think. Yep. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I have no idea what it is. I have no idea. I don't remember ordering it. I don't remember ordering it. Oh, okay. This one I ordered because I was like, it looks like a tree. <laughs> And I was curious about it. Oh, look at all the roots. Oh, that reminds me. Let me check out the roots. Oh, y'all, I don't see no roots. So I'll probably leave it in there for a little bit. This one is called the Orange Spike Meganella. I can't, a Meganella, so it, I can't do it. Uh, but this is a slow growing spreading plant bright light 50 degrees minimum bright orange flowers in early summer keep moderate moist unique house plant avoid overwatering um i can't say that i like it right now because oh i like that the leaves are definitely all smush but i love how um tall it is so i i i'm happy with the haul i am really I'm so sorry as long i will edit the hell out of it but but thank you so much for watching and <laughs> I'm really happy. But I am definitely on a plant buying freeze. So catch you next time. I'm gonna finish this beer. I'm about to hit the hay. And I'm gonna say hey, good night. Love you guys. Catch you next time on more drinking <laughs> and planting. Bye.